next phylum is called Pyrophyta, and these are commonly called the dinoflagellates. Now, the Pyrophyta are unicellular, and they can be autotrophic and carry out photosynthesis, or they can be heterotrophic. The heterotrophic dinoflagellates can be carnivores, which means <clears throat> they <clears throat> are eating bacteria or smaller uh, protists. They can be parasitic, or they can be mutualistic. The ones that are mutualistic um, have relationships with uh, marine. These are mostly marine. There's a few species that are freshwater, but most of them are marine. And if they are mutualistic, they have mutualistic relationships with jellyfish, some of the other mollusks, um, and corals. But very often, they are also photosynthetic. Now, their primary pigment is chlorophyll, but their secondary pigment is the carotenoids. So, with these, one of the unique things they have is they have two flagella, and the flagella are at right angles to one another. So, as the flagella beat, they have a spinning-like motion, and that's how they move through the water. Now, their cell walls are made of a very, very thick type of cellulose that is in plates. And a lot of times when you look at them, it sort of looks layered like a suit of armor or um, your book calls it a helmet, but they have these thick plates. And some of them are capable of what is called bioluminescence. Now bioluminescence means that they're going to light up. Uh, luminescence means to light, and bio means an animal that is capable of lighting up. So if they're lighting up, there's a reason. They usually do that to uh, for attraction, to attract something. Uh, maybe it's to attract a food source. A smaller protist may go towards them wondering what that light is and get gobbled up. Um, in this particular instance, that's probably the reason um, they're not doing it to find shelter like they would movement. And certainly at this point, they're not doing it to attract a mate. So it would be more likely to attract a food source. Now, your photosynthetic uh, dinoflagellates are a major component of phytoplankton too. So along with your diatoms, your dinoflagellates are also going to be um, in that group that we know as the, the phytoplankton. Now, at the bottom I have algal blooms and red tide, and let me explain to the, this to you. When, when food is plentiful, when there's a lot of food for these things, and the environmental conditions are favorable, they tend to overgrow. And when they overgrow, they start reproducing like crazy. And when they do that, it's called an algal bloom. The plural of algae is algal, and they're blooming like crazy, which means they're reproducing. And they can be really harmful because what they're doing is they're depleting all of the nutrients out of the water. And when they do this, the food supply starts diminishing, and the algae will die. And when they die, they release a powerful poison that actually suffocates the fish it gets clogged in their gills instead of um, the oxygen and it causes them to die. Some of them have a red photosynthetic pigment and um, when you see them in great numbers, it, the water appears to be red. And I don't know if you've ever been to Destin or parts of Florida where they have what's called the red tides. That's what these are and red tides are a very serious threat to humans because some of these dinoflagellates when they die they release a powerful nerve toxin and that nerve toxin when when the fish eat it and people eat the shellfish and it's usually shell, shellfish um, it can cause serious serious illness and sometimes death so the red tides have to be closely monitored and usually you will see signs that say, you know, we can't eat 
um, a specific, you know, there might be specific times when you don't want to eat oysters or you don't want to eat any other kind of shellfish in Florida because the red tides are coming in. I think in Florida it's usually around August, September, but you'll see these look what looks like a red mass in the water and it's the overproduction of these types of dinoflagellates.